Isotope's Neutron 5 is out and it's an upgrade of the previous version 4. In this video we'll go over what's new and improved and do some sound shootouts between version 5 and the older version 4. If you don't know what Neutron is, it's basically a plugin suite where you can either use the individual processors to shape your audio or let the plugin learn the profile of your audio track and apply processing automatically, where it basically works as an automix plugin per track. Neutron can transform audio pretty dramatically. Here it is in a full mix on every audio track and I only used the learn and automate its processing. I often find I need to tweak to get the sound I want, like with this kick. All of these modules are available as individual plugins as well, which makes Neutron a pretty versatile package. Now with Neutron 5, the first thing you will notice is that the assistant view got updated with more controls over the individual modules. The overall graphics have been updated. I didn't have issues with how it looked in 4 to be honest, but you know, changes. The graphical display in version 5 is far more sluggish than it was in version 4, at least on PC. You will see that throughout this video and I hope this can be fixed. With version 5, every module has gotten their own delta button where you can hear the difference each module makes. This is a welcome addition. <laughs> Also new is that with some of the modules, you can let these process on either mid-side or on the transient and sustain as well. There are three new modules in Neutron 5, Density, Phase and Clipper. Density is an upward compression module. In other words, it makes more silent elements in a mix louder where it pulls those elements towards the threshold. Normally this will give a more denser and fuller sound, without compromising the louder transients or attacks. Phase is more of an utility. It fixes global phase issues on a track. It's like your phase invert switch but much more flexible. The new clipper module is something I think many users will appreciate as well. You can clip transients, which can sound more natural than using limiting. It of course distorts a bit, but it does work great on material with strong transients like drums. Before we compare the sound of version 5 with version 4, please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and hit that little like button. Between Neutron 4 and 5, the modules do process differently. Here is a duplicated acoustic guitar and I let both versions learn on the same audio. Both heard this by the way as guitar, not as an acoustic guitar, I had to set that manually. Neutron 4 sounds a lot smaller and it is absolutely more compressed. Version 4 uses two compressors in series, where in 5 you get one compressor and the density module. 
version 5 keeps a more open sound. One other thing that was very different, version 5 was about 3.4 decibels louder, and I matched the volumes to get a fair comparison. By the way, in settings you can enable auto gain to tackle this difference in level, but it's not on by default. Here's a comparison on drums. Let's start with 5 only. I'll AB between the original and the tracks with Neutron 5. It is pretty heavy handed sounding. And now let's compare between version 4 and 5. Four is even more heavy handed than five, and again, it's mostly because four uses two compressors in series. And this is basically what you see every time when you compare between versions four and five. The new Neutron is less heavily processed sounding, which I see as a good thing. Overall, when you are a Neutron user, version 5 is a proper upgrade, especially since it processes less heavily when you use the learn function. The new modules and updated functions are a welcome addition, the more sluggish graphics on PC are not that awesome. But as always, try it out for yourself to see if it fits in your audio toolshed.